Okay, so now we're going to have a look at adding a video, and it's a very similar process to, ha to adding an image. Um, first of all, again, you need to identify which topic box you want to add a video to. Uh, I'm going to add it to the top uh, box, and again, you click on the pencil icon. Once the HTML editor is open, instead of clicking the add an image icon, you're going to click on the next one, which is to add a media file. It's a bit like a film strip. This can be used to upload MP3s, podcasts, videos, uh, or applets as well. Um, so the, there's only one choice for you to look at first of all, and, and that is to click on find or upload a sound video or applet. Number of ways you can do this now. You can upload directly from YouTube. So if I click on the YouTube tab and I search as I would do. Um, for anything on, on YouTube, so I'm going to click for Thornley Moodle, and you'll see these are some of the, the pages that the videos that we've uploaded on our, uploaded on our page. So I'm going to click on this first one, it'll ask me if that's the file I want to select, and I'm going to click on select this file. It'll then give me a preview of what that file's going to look like, just a black screen, that's a, the start screen of it. And I click on insert, and it's just the name that appears in your HTML editor bar. But importantly, this is where you can make sure that you have got the position where you want it. So I'm going to center the video, and I'm going to click on save changes. And then when your video appears in Moodle, you'll see it's going to preview of it now and link directly to YouTube and it can play straight away. Another way of adding a video is again to click on the pencil and again you're going to click on the film strip icon and this time we're going to upload a video that's on our desktop on our computer so I'm going to click on find sound or video and I'm going to go to upload a file and then just as I would do if I was attaching something to an email, I'm going to choose file. I'm going to locate where that file saved. In this instance, it's on my desktop and it's called Our Deepest Fear Copy. I'm going to press choose and I'm going to upload this file. Again, it'll give you a, a preview to show that you've got your video there. And if you click on insert, again, it will appear as text. And again, you can determine beforehand where you want your video to be aligned. And then click on save changes. You'll see that this video is displayed slightly differently. It's running in quick time uh, rather than YouTube. So the video appears with its controls at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so that's two ways to upload a video using Moodle.